Well, today I'll be taking you through the creation of video editor, which we launched you two days ago. So if you haven't got your hands on it, do check it out. For Android users, you will receive your version of the app in a week's time. So next week, we'll be dropping that for you guys. And every three to four weeks after that, you will receive an update with new exciting features. You'll be presented with a home screen where you can import your footage. Very, very straightforward. And then on our timeline, we're able to adjust and crop uh, the exercise and the movement which we're doing. So the first thing that I like to do is either crop my footage at the bottom on your timeline. And then the next step for me, I like to add a gradient. So the reason why I personally like to add a gradient, it allows, uh, it allows me to create contrast between the graphic and my video. Next thing to do is to select our graphic. I want to go for the mesomorph and select your color on the right hand panel. And then this is where the fun begins. As you can see, you have all your muscle selection options. So first thing first, I like to change the border to black. This will make sense in a second. And then for the fill, essentially filling in all the muscle area, I like to go for white. So black and white obviously creates the most amount of contrast, which allows our graphics to pop through our video. We'll select our bicep and choose a bright color for our video slash graphic to stand out and just drop it there. Perfect. And also if we select on the graphic, we can still have the option to um, make changes. And also we can go ahead and save that within our graphics and library. So yeah, we're good to go. And then we can readjust that either on the screen or you can swipe to the right and go to adjustments and change this scale. And then the next thing is adding our title in the titles panel. So this is a bicep curl using the machine. For the sake of the video, we'll just put bicep curl. And then let's change our font. That looks pretty solid. And then we can also change the color. So I'm going to go for, let's go for white. Nice and simple for the sake of the tutorial. And then we just drag that onto the screen. And then if we go to our adjustments, we can actually change the scale in 85. That looks pretty solid. And then let's add another title for our sets. Sets, let's do four, let's do three to four sets. And then for a nice clean uh, font to create contrast between the two fonts and then just drag that into position and then we can adjust the in and out position by going back to the uh, timeline and then just simply drag in at which point we want in the exercise to appear just like that and then the second one for the gradient if we need to we can add transitions fade in Perfect. Then we can edit fade in on each one. And then guys, that is pretty much it. We got a pretty simple composition of our graphics and titles. So yeah, as we progress with the app, you will have more features and more animated titles. So guys, get started. And now all we have to do is just export our footage and wait for that to render and it will appear within our and now, guys, you can watch that video. So let's get started. Perfect. Amazing. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me below and I'll walk through any specific specific features or questions that you might have. Uh, like I said, once you start on the creation app, you can start creating straight away. Very easy to navigate. And also, every three to four weeks, we'll have new updates with new features. So yeah, guys, we're so excited to see your creation. Feel free to tag us and do as you please. See you on the next one.